As of now for season 11 Battle Pass Vault, we are only going to get one Battle Pass. That's the season 2 day of recording Battle Pass. But don't worry, this is a really nice Battle Pass if you are mostly into military type skins and not so colorful skins. It also has skins with pay to win 9 sides. This Battle Pass is perfect. So let's take a detailed look at this Battle Pass and you can see yourself if you like this Battle Pass and if you really want this Battle Pass. Before you continue, I'd be really happy if you smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do that first we are going to take a look at all the character skins in this battle pass the first character skin we have in this battle pass is maze back for more we have few number of maze skins in the game but this is the only maze skin that came out inside of a battle pass what's special about this skin is that most maze skins were ported from other call of duty games but this one is specifically made for call of duty mobile just like the legendary maze and just like the legendary version we also have a cape and we have some mechanical parts in this skin that makes him look like some kind of a hybrid. So this is very different from other Messi skins and it's a really nice skin. Next skin we have is Alex. And this is my favorite because obviously it is Alex in his default uniform. Alex is a famous character in Modern Warfare. And again, if you are into simple military type skins, you would really love this skin. We also have a Milsim skin in this battle pass called Milsim Brute. It's a dark skin so it's a really good camouflage especially in multiplayer. And this will be a really nice skin for your Milsim collection. The final character skin and the only female character in this battle pass is Mara Awakening skin. We only have 3 Mara skins in the game. Two of them came out inside of battle passes and this is the second one. This is also a really good tryhard skin if you are a tryhard. But what I don't like about this skin is that it is Mara so we cannot really see the Mara's face but apart from that it's a decent skin if you move on to the gun skins in this battle pass the first gun we are going to get is HEK30 jumper cable and this HEK30 comes with a pay to win 9 sight I know when you ADS you see some cables just like what the name says but that's not going to hurt you the color combination is also really nice with this skin and I believe this is one of the best epic HEK30 skins in the game right now also if you take a look at the completionist camos this HEK30 skin looks amazing with any completionist camo you equip Next skin we are going to get is BK57 Data Miner. I remember Data Miners were so happy about them naming this skin Data Miner. Call of Duty developers were mocking Data Miners because Data Miners obviously leak everything before they come out of in the game officially. But unfortunately this skin does not have a different iron sight although it looks different but it looks great on completionist camos. Especially if you are into these different design epic blueprints. Next epic blueprint in this battle pass is a shotgun skin which is KRM Eagle Claw. This is also a pay to win skin because a default KRM has a ghost ring when you ADS but this one does not come with a ghost ring. This skin also comes with a different geometry so it looks better than the default KRM 100%. The skin is also not that colorful and if you don't like these colors you can make it more interesting by keeping these completionist camos. Especially look at the blistery magma it looks amazing. We also have M4 LMG epic blueprint in this battle pass by the name checkpoint and this also doesn't come with really good iron side but it's lmg so it's not going to be a huge problem however it comes with a different design and a different geometry so if you are into these type of skins you will really love it not only that when you keep completionist camos you can totally change the look of it but i would like to keep it as it is because it looks badass in that way the fifth and the final epic blueprint in this battle pass is as well judgment skin now you might not know but this is the season that as well came out first so this epic skin is the oldest and the very first First epic ASL skin in the game. Surprisingly, it came out with a 4x tactical scope skin too, but nobody used it. Maybe if you are going to use the FMJ rounds, you would find it useful, but then again, not a really good way to use that gun. Since this season, ASL has been a really good gun in the game, so I believe if someone did not go for the mythic, this is the epic ASL skin that they have played most of the time. It does not look that great with completionist camos because you can see some parts without the camo, so I would prefer to keep it as it is. Just like like them for LMG. Not only that, you know in the battle pass world we also get all the epic items. So we are also going to get this charm called dog tags which simply shows some dog tags. Not a great charm but it's in the battle pass so you are going to get it. And we also need to talk about the backpack. This is the very first time this type of backpack came out. This backpack is called spare shells. Now we have a lot of backpacks with the same design but this is the first one out of them all. And the final two items that we are going to get in this battle pass world is 
is this avatar for maze which is called back for more and then we are also going to get this frame which is called the cable frame and it is an animated frame so these are all the items in this battle pass vault that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you found this video helpful please leave a like make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon watch my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one